Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Olivia and I make videos about anthropology every single Monday. And today we are diving into the one, the only, primatology. Now, I have a really long playlist on my channel where I talk about all the different subfields of anthropology, and fun fact, primatology is one of them. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So if you Google what is primatology online, you're going to be presented with an incredibly simple definition. That definition being the branch of zoology that deals with primates. There's so much more to it than that, it's not even funny. Like, who let them put that there? So we need to backtrack a little bit before we can actually dive into primatology completely. And the first thing that we're gonna actually be talking about in this video is anthropology. I strongly believe that in order to understand primatology, you have to understand where it fits into anthropology. So first things first. Anthropology more broadly is the study of humans, human cultures, and basically anything else concerning people. Now, anthropology itself can be broken down into four main subfields. Those subfields are biology, culture, linguistics, and archaeology. And each one of those subfields is a different perspective to examine humans. Primatology is considered a branch, a subfield, a field, of biological anthropology. And I believe that this is important because again, it helps us to understand with what lens we're examining primates. Now, while primatology is a branch of biological anthropology, this term and area of study is pretty different from some of the other branches that I talk about on this channel because it's very interdisciplinary, meaning that primatology is not only a part of anthropology, but it's a part of other areas of study too. Primatology is considered zoology, it's considered biology, it's considered part of the life sciences more broadly. So please understand that with this video, we are approaching primatology with an anthropological lens, but realistically, it's actually a field that's related to a whole lot of other fields. So now you've got the whole anthropology thing down, so now we've got to switch over into the primate thing. So what's a primate? A primate is a member of the biological order primate, which includes a subset of mammals that share certain characteristics. This sounds a little bit scary, but I promise you it's not. It basically just means that primates are a group of mammals that have some things in common. Some of these qualities include many primates having opposable thumbs. Primates also have forward-facing eyes, and their brains are really, really big relative to their body size. Something I learned from the research of this video is that there's over 500 species of primates. I had literally no idea. Lorises, why am I blanking? There's 500. <laughs> There's lorises, mandrels, macaques, tamarins, capuchins, gorillas, orang orangutans. I want to say orangutans. That's not right. And one that could surprise you is humans. Now, something that I find really interesting about primates and primatology is that primates live all over the world. You'll find them pretty much everywhere. And so naturally that also means that you're gonna see primatologists all over the world. So if there's a certain species or area of the world that interests you in primatology, you, you could go there, it's pretty cool. Okay, now I think all the pieces are in place. Anthropology, what is a primate? I think now we can move on to primatology itself. What do primatologists study? Primatologists study both extinct and living non-human primates. So while humans are considered primates, the field of primatology does not include us. So if you were wondering why maybe humans didn't come to mind when you hear primatology, that's why. It's because we're not included in that area of study. Primatology is something really, really complex and multi-layered, so it's hard to exactly say what primatologists study. Some of the aspects that primatologists look to understand are behavior, mating systems, communication, ecology, and so many others. But I felt like I didn't want to just, you know, sit here and talk about how it's really broad and really hard to explain. So I felt that the best way to do this was through some examples. So in the field of primatology, if you were to become a primatologist, you don't just study capuchins 
or tamarins or monkey behavior, right? Like you're studying a specific primate, you're studying a specific aspect of that primate, and often you're studying a specific group. So I spent some time in the Google Scholar wormhole this week and found what I think are some good examples of actual scientific research that you might be doing as a primatologist and that some primatologists have already done. The first one being social organization and space use of a wild mandrel group. I think this article is a really good example because it shows you that we're not only looking at mandrels more broadly, we're looking at the social organization of a very specific group of mandrels. The next article that I thought did a really good job kind of exemplifying why primatologists or how primatologists get really specific is this one. It's evidence for cultural differences between neighboring chimpanzee communities. I don't even know how one begins to research this, but it's so fascinating to me. This, this is candy, I'm the baby, you know? So I think through these examples, you guys can kind of see how there are very specific aspects of primates that we're looking at. And I've said specific like a million times, so we're gonna pivot. Really quickly, if you have not liked or subscribed, definitely do that because this is a really close-knit community and we talk about anthropology every single week. But now, back to the video. All right, so I'm a human and I'm 99% sure that you're a human. And so I wanted to bring this all back to the connection that primatology has to humans uh, because this is an anthro channel, surprise. Something really interesting to note is that primates are humans' closest living relatives. And basically what I mean by that is out of all the organisms on planet Earth that are alive today, primates are the ones that we are the most closely related to. Of course, we're primates, but like all the other primate 500 friends. And this simple statement has a whole lot of impacts when it comes to understanding our history and human evolution more broadly. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is the better that we understand our primate relatives, the better we can understand ourselves. And I find that really, really interesting. Also, if you're here when this video is going live, I just wanted to let you know that there are some really, really exciting resources coming out soon related to primatology and other related topics. And if you're watching this video in the future, check that description box because like I said, there's some really exciting resources coming out on this topic soon. Lastly, because I want this channel to be a really practical space for people, I wanna talk about the kinds of jobs that you can get with a background in primatology. Some of these are more obvious, like going into academia, becoming a professor, just doing academic research. Because of course, learning is wonderful and sharing that knowledge with other people is also wonderful. But some other places that you might find a primatologist are at zoos, animal sanctuaries, and laboratories. So if any of those sound interesting to you, maybe check out a degree in primatology. If you made it to the end of this video, please let me know what sounds interesting about primatology to you in the comment section. I am so grateful for this community of anthropologists. Literally, you guys are the reason that I make these videos. <laughs> Anytime I lose motivation, it's our little conversations in the comments in the community tab that keep me going. Um, so thank you so much. You guys are literally the best. Um, and I'm so glad I finally got around to making this request because I know that people wanted this. So yeah, I will see you all next week with another video. And yeah, all right, you guys, <laughs> bye.